progress through the legislative session, a morning prayer has become the subject of drama. Joel Crane is live at the Capitol to tell us what happened. Joel? Monica, for those who are unfamiliar with what happens at the legislature every day, they invite in a religious leader from the community, usually Bismarck Mandan, to say a prayer in front of each chamber. Um, now, two lawmakers from uh, various districts around North Dakota decided it was that time that they would like to make a statement. Let us protect our common good by protecting the vulnerable and the marginalized. Backs turned during a prayer. Not something you see every day. I just didn't expect it. When I, when I saw it, though, my first reaction was, oh, that, that looks really ugly. Reverend Dr. Leanne Simmons was praying over the Senate on February 8th when Senators Michael Wabama and Yana Myrdal turned their backs to her. Creator of the universe and all people therein, you who formed humankind in your image, placing them in this world in all their diversity, differing colors, genders, races, ethnicities, and language. We praise you for the splendor of your creation and the love that motivated your hand on this earth. I showed Reverend Dr. Simmons the video again today. When I was praying for about pluralism and diversity, genders, races, that was the point at which they look at each other and, and turn. That seems like a kind of benign prayer. But the senators who turned their backs didn't think so. Both declined on-camera interviews, but Senator Yana Myrdal told me people lobbying from the prayer pulpit is something we don't believe in. Senator Michael Wabama said they felt that they were being lectured because of the transgender bills that they would be voting on later this session. He added, according to God's word, people who are called to preach God's word are held to a higher level of accountability. Senate Minority Leader Senator Kathy Hogan was disappointed with their actions. It actually broke my heart because first I thought it was so disrespectful of the people who come to volunteer. And secondly, it just made me sad because it's not the decorum of the Senate. Reverend Dr. Simmons says this experience no, won't deter her from praying over the House or Senate again. I can say praying for them, not against them. That I was praying for them and I will continue to pray for them. Senate Majority Leader David Hogue declined to comment on the incident. Reverend Dr. Simmons says that it was never any of her intent to make a political statement when she was praying over the Senate. Live at the Capitol, I'm Joel Crane reporting for your news leader.